one of the most precious resources we have in space flight is time. The time of the astronauts, of the analog astronauts in our case, uh, for doing their work. My name is Gernot Gröner, I'm the field commander of the MD-18 expedition. We're here in the operation station of the Kepler station, which is the uh, command hub, so to say, where we coordinate the extra vehicle activities when our analog astronauts are searching for simulated traces of life out in the desert. Now, as I said, time is something very important for us. So everything we do is coordinated via a flight plan, which you see here in the, in the, uh, in the background here, where it's written down who does what and when. So whenever I check my time, I need only not only to be able to grasp the time at one look without any fancy gadgets or so, I don't read my emails on my watch, I just want to know what's the time now. But also, I need to be 100% sure that it's reliable, that the hardware we are using is perfect as perfect can be. And that's where Ford is coming, comes into play as well. Because we know we don't have to take care of if the timing machines work. They just tell us what to do when. So thanks for this, for this great cooperation. See you on Mars one day. Here in the background you can see the very Kepler station. This is our operational base when we do our extra vehicle activities or spacewalk into the deep desert. Those take typically two to four hours and believe me it's hard work. So the term spacewalk sounds like a walk in the park. Actually it's a high physiological workload we have to work with. And so we not only have to take care of the health and the uh, physical exhaustion of the astronauts but also many other consumables like uh, how long can we last with our batteries, uh, how it is, what is our water supply in the spacesuit, how is the thermal control system doing. So timing those things is very crucial. If you don't do a proper timing on Mars you are dead. It's as simple as this. Uh, the good news is, and that's a fun fact to remember as well, Mars is rotating almost as fast as Earth. So a day on Mars takes 24.5 hours. So you could almost use a terrestrial watch for your daily planning. Uh, maybe we can talk to Fortis that one day they're gonna produce watches which are also useful for Mars. Here in the desert, they certainly are.